Hello, welcome back. Hi. It's episode 17, <laughs> and today's episode is probably the episode that most people are looking for around this time of year. Mm-hmm. It's Black Friday, Cyber Monday, the yeah. best time to shop throughout the year, or at least for most people anyway. Well, most of the gifting season is going to be in December, so you right. kind of just want to prep for it with Black Friday. Um, and Cyber Monday deals, right? Right, and might as well take advantage of the deals because uh, usually the biggest deals of the year are uh, between these two dates, mm-hmm. right? So Cyber Monday or Black Friday first, right after Thanksgiving and Cyber Monday. So first and foremost, I want to say happy Thanksgiving to everyone that is watching this episode. And if you notice, Sid made a beautiful uh, decoration to prepare for the Christmas season. All right. Uh, we are in the Christmas season full effect. So if you are ready to shop for those that you want to provide gifts to during Christmas, mm-hmm. uh, then this may be the time to actually take advantage of it. Yes. All right. Let's so dig into it. All right. So uh, Cyber Monday, uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. I want to first and foremost uh, take a few, um, I guess, uh, go over how it originated uh, with Black Friday. So uh, let me go ahead and read this thing uh, for you in, on Wikipedia. It's Black Friday is an informal name for the day following Thanksgiving Day in the United States, the fourth Thursday of November, which has been regarded as the beginning of the country's Christmas shopping season mm-hmm. since 1952. I had no clue. And there's a reason why, because it wasn't not, it was not widely recognized until the early 2000s, which is usually was around the time that I actually started uh, to recognize Black Friday. And I actually uh, stood outside and waited in line and, and those mm-hmm. type of things. So it was actually well, fun. Technology one. comes into play. And that's when you get the hearsay from people rather than right. just like word of mouth. Like, hey, there's a big sale going on Makes um, sense. within your communities. Now you can actually communicate online through Facebook, through all social media platforms and say like, hey, like, you know, we have a big sale going on over here, head over. And so now you know where to go right. to go save for these things. That makes complete sense because, uh, you know, before uh, uh, technology, obviously, is all word of mouth. Uh, mm-hmm. Just like, you know, if you were to go to an, a good restaurant, they'll say what to order and those type of things. Nowadays, you can just go on Yelp and kind of figure it out yourself, right? Yeah. Um, so uh, that makes a lot of sense. Now, um, Black Friday has routinely been the busiest shopping day of the year since uh, 2005. Uh, matter of fact, in 2014, spending volume of Black Friday fell for the first time since the 2008 recession, uh, which uh, was amounted to $50.9 billion spent uh, that year. Uh, they're basically saying that the reason why they think Black Friday sales dropped, uh, they as in Wikipedia, this article or, mm-hmm. uh, on Wikipedia here, uh, is because of uh, uh, something called the Christmas creep. A lot of companies nowadays are actually discounting throughout the Christmas season as opposed to waiting just on Black Friday alone. So more people are yeah. shopping before, after because the deals are getting better and better and they don't mm-hmm. have to actually wait for that day uh, and have to deal with the chaos and all the chaotic events. That is right? smarter and <clears throat> it kind of like <laughs> takes away all of the, I guess, violent things that may happen uh, mm-hmm. during just that one specific day. It uh-huh. just crams everybody into a very limited space. Right. And everybody's fighting for very similar things and i i would have to uh, say this obviously during the christmas season it's a season of giving right and uh, people do sometimes feel very pressured uh, and anxious around this time so right. if they are waiting for this specific date to get a good deal there is definitely a lot of anxiety built up yes. uh, so let me go ahead and share a few <laughs> stories on Black Friday so I'm sure uh, anyone yeah. uh, that has been living in the United States for the last 10 years or so uh, that have followed up on the news on Black Friday I'm sure everyone has heard these crazy stories in their hometown or or within the same state or what have you but let me let me share a few stories that are pretty out there so in 2008 a crowd of approximately 2,000 shoppers in Valley Stream New York waited outside for a 5 a.m. opening at the local Walmart oh, as, no. <laughs> as opening time approached the crowd grew anxious and when the doors were open the crowd pushed forward breaking the door down a 34 year old employee was trampled to death jeez wow I, I can't imagine what it was like to be that person who opened the door. Um, they must have really just really ran. I mean, how do you get trampled to death unless, I mean, there are, well, I guess 2,000 people running through the doors. I mean, I, I, to me anyway, I, I, if it was me, I would try to help the guy up if I saw him. Like, why would you continue to just keep running over him? 
I don't know, psychopath? (laughs) (laughs) One track mind? I have no idea. Um, But that is some serious stuff that, yeah, definitely needs to be avoided. Yeah. I think that's why, like, you know, a lot of places are now opening earlier than, like, 4 a.m., 5 a.m. On the actual Black Friday, they'll open, like, earlier on, like, on Thursdays Mm -hmm. um, at midnight. Since 2011, actually, on Wikipedia, it mentions that... um, Big retail names uh, are opening their doors around, like, midnight. Mm -hmm. And then from now, like, I know that people are opening, like, during the middle of, like, Thanksgiving dinner on Thursday. Right. So I I remember about five years ago, I think they're still doing it now. Here in the Bay Area, there's a a mall called Great Mall in Milpitas, California. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know that right in the middle of Thanksgiving dinner, I think they're opening the mall right at 6 p.m for those who want to shop early. So uh, as soon as you have Thanksgiving dinner, you can start shopping right away. So it, that may help avoid just like, you know, to your point, right. uh, to cut out these types of events from happening. Mm-hmm. Uh, another situation happened during Black Friday of 2010. A Madison, Wisconsin woman was arrested outside of Toys R Us after um, cutting in line and threatening to shoot other shoppers who tried to object. Ooh. So, um, Long story short, there are a combination of events that has happened over the years from 2008 onwards uh, based on Wikipedia Wikipedia, uh, that happened multiple places from big uh, name brand stores and Macy's and uh, convenience and department stores such as Target and Walmart Mm -hmm. uh, of uh, people just trying to get into the stores and getting these deals. Now, uh, obviously, uh, there are good things and bad things like we've just shared here. The good things is that, you know, just based on my personal experience, uh, when I was trying to take advantage of uh, the whole Black Friday deal in my early 20s, it was it was actually a really fun experience. What uh, my friends and I did was we just got a couple of chairs, the folding chairs out, and we waited uh, outside of uh, Best Buy. We wanted to buy, uh, you know, during that time, the PlayStations uh, that were going on sale, and we had a couple of bucks there in our name. We said, hey, why not save a couple of bucks, right? Mm-hmm. So we waited outside over overnight it was really fun we got to hang out and chit chat talk drink drink cup you know maybe a couple of cu- cups of hot coffee and just really wait outside and when the doors open we were able to take advantage of the deal so the, there are a lot of good things and most of the times these scenarios are very rare right so this is like one scenario two scenarios out of the whole year in one location of the entire united states so it's not like these things happen all the time right so, because usually you're just shopping and then there's right. like a minimal amount of people and you're not crowded among the rest of society, which mm-hmm. also includes the crazies, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with the normies uh-huh. <laughs> and the less so normies, you know, like it's just like right. it's everybody is compacted into this whole space. So uh-huh. it would be best to avoid all of those things. And um, I did go to uh, a few Black Friday sales uh, at the mall with mm-hmm. my sisters a few years back and just to see what it was like and if, you know, waiting for the deals were worth it to get in line mm-hmm. for and everything mm-hmm. like that. Um, what I realized was the places that I went to. So this is my own personal, like, experience. Like, it could be different for everybody else. Um, but when I went to these stores, I realized that all of these prices, all these price tags we were mentioning, um, Things I've already seen like previous weeks when it wasn't Black Friday. So let's just say it was like a like a $99 sweater or something like okay. that. And I wanted to wait for this day so that it could, you know, be reduced in price and then I can get in line and buy it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, all these people were getting in line for, for price tags were, that were actually marked down for like 50%, but they were the same retail price as if you were to buy them weeks before. So, <laughs> oh, I got you. So basically what you're saying is that they were marking it up just to mark it back down. Mm-hmm. To, to make, well, yeah, I guess from a, a psychological standpoint, people just want to feel like they, they're getting a deal. Yes. Uh, but to your standpoint, I mean, I guess you knew the prices. Right, exactly. Um, and so I was like, right. oh, this isn't worth it for me. Right. And also, yeah, I understand that like yeah. from the retailer's point of view, like right. it's it's a way to get rid of the, you know, the seasonal stuff. Uh-huh. Um, it's a way to have people have the incentive to buy these things, right. but it's not super fair for people. Right. <laughs> who's actually shopping for it. Yeah, trying to get a who's deal. Who's trying to get a deal. Mm-hmm. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. So I guess it's, it's important to be smart with what you're, uh, with who you're shopping with and how you're shopping and to be aware of the prices if it fluctuates, right? Yeah. Um, so it makes sense. Uh, now, so let's move on to Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday is a marketing term for the Monday after the Thanksgiving holiday in the United States. The term Cyber Monday was created by marketing companies to persuade people to shop online. 
The term was coined by Ellen Davis and Scott Silverman and made its debut on November 28th of 2005, which is what, 13 years ago? In a shop.org press release entitled Cyber Monday Quickly Becoming Yada Yada Yada. Okay, so. It's pretty recent. Yeah, it's very recent. <laughs> And matter of fact, well, look at this stat. In 2017, Cyber Monday online sales grew to a record $6.59 billion with a capital B compared with wow. $2.98 billion in 2015. So in two years, uh, it basically grew more than double. In two years, wow, that's that's amazing. So yeah. I guess a lot of people are taking their online, I mean, shopping online uh, to Cyber Monday, which makes sense. I, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, this We're is. Uh, <laughs> uh, I I try not to be. Right. You know, obviously, just like our F and B Gemini, I try. Uh, I try my best to be as neutral unbiased. and biased as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, the the fact of the matter is true for myself included. Uh, you know, obviously, we run an online business here at Fire and Brilliance, but. Um, you know, I do shop other things than jewelry, mm -hmm. and I tend you to. You do? Yeah, <laughs> I tend, and, and my family tend to shop online more and more year over year, year over year, to avoid the things that I had just mentioned from Black Fridays, and to avoid uh, the headaches, or to maybe to not have to wait for the lines and the uh, the chaos and the headaches, and may potentially not even be able to get the things that you want because it'll be sold out. Mm -hmm. You get sometimes you get a better chance of just doing it online. So I guess for us, yeah, online shopping has a few more pros. Than right, and it gets delivered to your door. So yeah. I mean, how much better does that get? But, that's true. Uh, but that's my opinion. Um, Same. So <laughs> <laughs> Opinions. We're spilling the tea. So. All right. Um, so now, with that said, I'm sure you guys have been waiting. Uh, as promised <laughs> from our previous episode, or previous episodes, we had mentioned that we're going to talk about what here at Fire and Brilliance will offer for both Cyber Monday and Black Friday. Although Cyber Monday is usually dedicated for more businesses like ours, an online jewelry-based company, we do have Cyber Monday and Black Friday deals every year for the last three years. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you this, so make sure you hit up the website and take a look at our promo codes page. You could, you could find the link directly from the main page. There should be a box with, uh, that will advertise our Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. Okay, uh, and it's going to be on separate days, so make sure that you click on it and go back to and revisit the site after Black Friday. Okay, there's going to be a bar on top of the website where you can also click on it to find that page. All of our promo codes will be on there and it is limited based on quantity worldwide. Okay, and first I want come, first serve. It is you first come, first serve. I want to emphasize that and I want to provide all of our YouTube followers, IG followers, um, you know, and everyone that's been following us. I really appreciate it here at Fine Brothers. We really appreciate you guys for following us. So if you've been waiting all year for this moment to take advantage of our deals, this is the time to do it. But keep in mind, it is first come first serve. Yes, these are it, real deals, guys. These are real deals. It's limited. Okay, so if you're gonna use it, uh, then make sure you shop the website first before you do it because these codes are live at as soon as after midnight hits, okay? So on the day of Black Friday, on the day of Cyber Monday. Now we've had many situations in the past where our customers have uh, contacted us the next day and said the, the promo codes didn't work. Well, if you receive an error message, it only means that it's been used up because this is available to all customers worldwide and it's limited in quantity. So right, and they go like, they go really quick. So right. you wanna be there ready to press that button and you don't have to you know um reduce time from spending with your family doing this you yeah. don't like you don't <laughs> no, have to get true. in line get yeah. and, and yeah. accidentally get trampled over uh yeah you just have to be there for that quick few minutes and mm -hmm. then and then you're done and then you can find out whether you got the deal or not right and to sid's point uh, uh as what she was saying earlier when she was shopping uh, in person uh before and a lot of companies and, and definitely do your research. Even if you don't shop with us and you shop with other companies or you shop other things other than jewelry, make sure uh, that you're checking out the prices prior to these deals, that they're not just marking it up 
just to provide you a discount so they could sell at the same price. What we're doing is that we're not marking it up, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, for us in the jewelry business, the only time we're ever forced to mark things up or down for fine and brilliance anyway is if there's a huge fluctuation in yes. material, mm -hmm. which means gold prices go up a lot, silver, um, palladium, platinum, uh, you know, diamonds. Right, and, and this is not just for us, it's right. for the whole it's, it's a whole industry. If the, the, you know, the cost of material goes up, then we have to, we, you know, obviously we're, we're in business, we have to make a profit to stay right, alive, right? Exactly. So we have to fluctuate based on the market. But if the prices of material is relatively stable, mm -hmm. then we do not mark it up, right? So for us anyway, these prices are not marked up just so that you could get a discount code to mark it back down. Mm -hmm. These prices are real deals, so if you check out the promo codes, you can apply it and get those prices down and save instantly. So here are two tips for you when you do shop for Black <laughs> Friday and Cyber Monday deals, especially mm -hmm. if you buy online. Again, number one, I want to reiterate that point, is make sure you know the prices so you're actually saving. And it's a real savings and not just someone that's marking it up just so you could save it to be, mar uh, to be marked down. The second tip is if you're buying online, make sure you shop ahead of time before these promo codes are live. And the reason why I say that is because, let's just say for example, if you wanted to buy a classic 14K yellow gold uh, solid four prong uh, ring with an eight millimeter round brilliant cut two carat fab moissanite stone. And that's exactly what you want. Don't wait until 12 o'clock to add that to your cart. Add that to your cart first. Yes. Put the promo code in the box first. As soon as midnight hits, you want to purchase and check out right away because there are thousands of other people doing the same thing. Yes. So and if, we can't provide them to everybody. We have to be fair to ourselves too. Right. Um, and so we're, we're providing as much as we can to you guys. Um, I just want you guys to be at the front of the line. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you guys are and mm -hmm. then you're all good. Absolutely. Uh, and to her point, it's true. We can't just make it unlimited because these deals many times are less than the cost of doing business. So in other words, these are real deals, right? So if we were to sell this all the time, we would be out of business. Right. So these are real deals that we're making Hopefully for Cyber Monday. Hopefully you want to keep us around. Yeah. <laughs> and Black Friday. So uh, take advantage of it. Again, those are the two tips. Make sure you follow those tips, okay? So um, other than that, uh, you know, I personally, and I'm sure Sid does too, uh, want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. Be safe out there if you're going to enjoy Black Friday. Yes. Right, uh, and if you want to be in the comfort of your home, make sure you shop smart. All right, follow those two tips, and then I'll see you again next week when it's into December of 2018. Year's almost over, guys. I know. Jeez, wow. Anyway, I'll see you again next time. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. And Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye.